Schweiz. What's up guys? We are back with the reaction of the reaction again with Cloak and Dagger episode 4. Um, slight recap of season 3. Go see it. It was very interesting. Episode a lot of uh, metaphors. But for episode 4, we did a reaction of that and we're going to review some stuff about that episode. So first we're going to do plot development. So what do we think about how they're building the storyline of Cloak and Dagger so far? Yeah, I mean, to go back to the episode three, personally for me, it was, it felt a little all over the place, and I was kind of disappointed, because I was like, the first two were just like, really well done, mm. and there was a couple like, cheesy kind of like, lines in it, and the way, I mean, again, me, I'm very critical of how actors deliver their lines when they should talk, when they shouldn't talk, and especially in the ending of a scene right before it's transitioned to the next one. Uh, it it gets me when someone says a line just to fill in this, the, the awkward silence and mm. I'm like ah they should have just left it blank mm. um, I mean that's just my opinion that's how I think True. Um, but I really like the plot and where it's going and, and how they continue to do the flashbacks they do a very good job when they they've done flashbacks uh, yeah. before in the, in the earlier episodes uh, they did a great job um, going back and forth um, without taking away from uh, from the show. But I, I really like. I mean, we just watched the promo to episode five, and I'm so stoked. A lot of things are coming together yeah, quite culminating. Yeah, the culminating. culminating. That's a yeah. good word. Uh, culminating. I like my vocab. <laughs> <laughs> uh, again, I, I want to spoil something, but I can't, so... Yeah. We will have a time for spoilers. Plot development, I thought... They, they were like weaving a tapestry, kind of. Because there's all these different parts like he's saying with... Like, you'll have a scene with Tandy, and then a flashback, and then a scene with Tyrone, and then a flashback. Yeah. But it doesn't feel unbalanced. Like, you under... Like, you, you don't get lost in it. Because I think what can happen a lot of times with flashbacks is you, like, get lost. And sometimes um, they introduce a character that's not in the yeah that's not that's, day. that's not in the present day or they introduce something and you're like what like where does this person fit right um, and they have a good job of tying everybody in that they introduce like they introduced a, a character that's like a detective mm -hmm. a couple episodes back I think that was maybe episode two or three I think it's episode three and she didn't have a line until the very end but you understood her role in her place yeah. so they've done a good job of just like. Adding things that don't distract. Mm -hmm. um, so character development. What do you think about that? Character development. They're doing. They're doing a really good job. Um, I'm not trying to harp on the bad, but episode three, just kind of the interaction interaction between uh, Tyrone and Tandy was a little unbalanced. But this episode did a great job. Um, there was a lot of you know flashing back and flashing forward, and the way that the scene just kind of progressed in its intensity uh, mm -hmm. with each flashback and coming back to to the present day. Yeah, I really I really like Tyrone. You can see that when the fear, his power is like being not controlled by him, mm. that it does change him. Um, his attitude. Yeah, his attitude. He seems a bit more confident. Um, he seems a bit more energetic and like sure of himself when I guess the power is is around and he doesn't know how to control it yet it just takes control and, and moves him and then with Tandy she's starting to realize the pain that her mom has been through mm. she's starting to empathize yeah which is a very good thing that we don't see a lot of times with like teenager shows like yeah. It's basically don't trust the adults, especially when it's like superhero or like supernatural shows like don't trust the adults yeah. They're evil or like your parents are the worst that type of thing yeah. And it's just like if the parents are people too. They have struggles. They're not perfect people But they're trying you know educate their kids and put their kids on a, on a path for a better life She's starting to understand where her mom is coming from and I think that's really important to emphasize like our sure, parents okay. come from Some point of view based on their experiences just like us. So yeah Music. 
the music was was so key. Like I wish I could just list out the the songs. We'll probably put like a description, um, a link in the description to the Spotify playlist that they do for uh, every episode. But the music, the only time the music was a little a little weird was I think in the beginning of the episode where it had like this. It's like. And you know, like that feels like a building type scene, but it was kind of just, it was just starting the episode off. I guess it was just trying to get you hyped for the, for the episode. But besides that, like the music was key, it was on point. It helped foster an atmosphere and an environment for every like scene that they were doing. Yeah. Um, it was really cool. If you guys like this video, please give it a like, subscribe, and hit the ringer so you can get more content.